Hello guys and girls and welcome back to news today. This is my preview for Tromeo's against Broccoli Town in the FA Cup 27th November, Friday 2020 FA Cup Round 2 at Prenton Park, Tromeo Stadium. So I'm going to talk a bit about Tromeo's and Broccoli Town, but starting off with Broccoli Town, their manager is Kevin Wilkin, who has been at them, at them for five years now, and he used to be at Wrexham in 2014 to 2015 so obviously he's been at Wrexham which is our one of our rivals in football so yeah um, and their captain is Gareth Dean who is an ex-Solihull Moors player who have Tramway Rivers have played them a few times before in the past and obviously he is a captain so and they are, are founded in 1890 so pretty an old club and they are nicknamed the saints a bit like southampton but not so they are in the national league north which is um uh, two leagues below us and they are 18th in the division and they drew 1-1 to chester at home obviously chester are a funny team really because they've beaten us in the past, obviously in that stupid little cup that we had a few, I think it was about two years ago, three years ago, that we played them in. But yeah, we got beat, but we didn't talk about that, so because we were shit. So, going on to Trammy Rovers now. Trammy Rovers have been on great form at the moment, obviously with six wins as it stands. Obviously, getting four wins in the league and uh, two wins in the cup. Obviously, with the Papa John's trivia and the FA Cup first round. So, yeah, um, Keith Hill is our new manager at Trammy Rovers and got us off to a winning start, which is fantastic. With Corey Blackett Taylor scoring the only goal of the game on Tuesday, which was an, a fantastic goal from him. Obviously, I can see him going at the end of the season, which I hope he doesn't. I hope he signs a new contract with Trammy Rovers. And I think we've got a really great player in us. So I think I think he's the best player in the league so far this season. He's quality, he's pacey, he's quick, he's talented, and he's got everything. And he was from Aston Villa. Obviously, he was a youngster from Villa. But yeah, I think Corral are a good side that we played on Tuesday. But I think if we, we can win any game, obviously, but we have to win on Friday against Broccoli. Obviously, anything can happen. It could be a banana skin or anything. We just hope we don't concede. Don't concede some stupid goals like we have done in the past in the FA Cup games. Obviously with South Paul, um, um, Chichester and who's the other one? Um, Oxford City conceding three and getting a draw. That's what what we don't want need on um, TV on Friday because we're on BBC. BBC Two, which, yeah, it's a shame that we're not there, but it's just one of them, so in a way, it's a good thing Trammy Rovers have got uh, six wins and they're on a winning streak at the moment. So, good luck to Trammy Rovers on Friday. Friday, Friday, Saturday, Friday. Yeah, so obviously, the game's on um, BBC, BBC Two at 7.55. And yeah, I think Trammy will win this, surely, surely. But yeah. I'm going to get slain for this if we get beat. But, yeah, so I'm going to say my score prediction, I think we'll win 4-1. But, yeah, I'm going to say my um, my team that I think that will play on um, Friday. So I'm going to start off with Joe Murphy in goal. I think he, he should be in goal because he's a good keeper and obviously gives Davis a rest, who's the, our captain. I think O'Connor will stay in as a right-back and I think he will stay in the team. I think Nelson and Ray will come back because I don't think they've had the game for ages. I think Nelson played in the last away game that we had. I think it was Port Vale and he was fantastic. So he deserves a shout to be in. George Ray, I'm not really keen on him. I don't think he's a good player, but I think he will be in the team on Friday because we're not, we're not playing a really good side in Brackley, obviously. Change my mind, it could be a different game on Friday. We could play shit, but hopefully, we don't. 
So I think Elian Vidal will come back from injury. So I think he'll be his all left back, possibly all captain. So Danny Walker Rice in uh, right mid with Banks and Spring in midfield. Obviously, that's a quality midfield, but Banks really hasn't proven anything so far this season, obviously, because he hasn't been in the team for, I think his last game was against Wigan. But obviously, I love Banks. He's my favourite player last season. But he just really needs to provide and try and get in the team more and more often. Obviously, otherwise he won't get in the team. Possibly he could leave at the end of the season. So hopefully he doesn't because he is a good player. So I think Woolery will be on the left. And Ferry and Smith will be up front. So obviously, I, I, we have to win the game. We have to. Because it's a lower league division. And we should be winning these type of games. But no one try me. We do a try me. And we always get beat or we get a draw. But yeah, I'm confident we'll win this 4-1. Some goal scorers are Ferrier, Smith, Woolery and I think Ollie Banks with the goal. So yeah, I'm really, I'm confident we'll win. But sometimes it just doesn't work in the FA Cup. But yeah, obviously we do well. We got to the fourth round last season. Obviously beating Watford and then getting Manchester United and then getting dicked 6-0, obviously. So it could be one of them. We could get them in the next round of the FA Cup if we get through on Friday, which would be amazing. Obviously, if it was away, it would be good. But if the fans were there, it would be even better. Obviously, with this tier, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, if we get tier 3, no fans in the stadiums, which is will be shit. But if we get tier 1 or tier 2, fans will be allowed in stadiums only for home games. But this this video is out will be out on Thursday, probably Thursday about 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock. So yeah, um, I don't think the news is coming out until about 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock. So yeah, um, but this is my... I, I think a tier 2 would be the best fit for Tramie Rovers. Because if they get tier 1, it'd be limbs. Because it means I can go to all the Shami games with the home games. Obviously, because I've got a Shami season ticket. So, yeah, let's just, just hope that happens. So, I'm confident. Let's get let's get the win, boys. Let's get to the third down. And so, otherwise, I'll see you guys on Friday after the game for my reaction. So, I, hopefully, I'm a happy guy. So, otherwise, there's no point. Well, there'd be no point that if, if we get dicked about 6 7 on me, oh my god. Oh my god. But yeah, I'm feeling confident. I think we'll win. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you new. So for next time, I will see you guys on Friday night. Come on, you boys. So I am me.